All right, here we go. Um, did a haul yesterday. Um, just picked up some odds and ends. It's my birthday month. My local LCS sent me a thing saying, hey, come in for 20% off, you know. Um, I'll probably do one more haul this week because I ended up getting some back issue dollars that I can use after I finish this haul. So I'm probably head that way maybe tomorrow or something like that to try to get some. But here's what I got. I got the Batman and Scooby-Doo Mysteries. This finishes that. You'll notice a blue and on this one a green. The blue is the third series if I can remember. Green is the second series. Um, so I'm kind of going between ever. There's three series right now. I'd like to finish all of them because it's a Batman and Scooby-Doo. Uh, neat one with Poison Ivy. Picked up this Lois Lane. Working on my Lois Lane run. You got to find that outfit just to be super groovy. That's all I'm trying to say. I mean, and this, I believe, would clean up pretty well. Um, this one is beautiful, and this is a another one of those Lois's outlaw son, and it talks about how you know uh, goes through the whole. I was looking through this last night, reading some of it. Her son, Black Luthor, he actually is just um, he's just real as bad and everything else and stuff. It's one of these make believe stories, but again, it's Lois Lane, so it is a really neat story and i think it was scott that might have pointed out the fact that or no one scott it was somebody else that pointed out the fact that it's always a superman's girlfriend but they don't seem to ever be with each other all right picked up some more of my superman family i'm working on who doesn't like a hundred pager for 60 cent you got jimmy olsen over there fighting the nazis with a little swastika in the corner i love the Figures in the side. That's when Lois is getting real 70s. As you can tell her styling. Picked up another one. Little Bizarro. Little baby super, you know, super baby. Picked up uh, a couple of World's Finest. Uh, a lot of these, again, they're the dollar ones, which is the, you know, more, more pages that it has. So I like that about it. The Challengers of the Unknown. I thought that was kind of neat for that part of it. And then this one. I like I like when Dick Grayson was at that stage. He was running around. He was more of a Teen Titan kind of age. He was more like an you know 18, 19 years old. That's before he you know changed. And I, I prefer this time period to him with Batman. All right, I got one left of this and. It's not a big one, uh, so I picked up this one. This is, for those of us back in the day, this is where we can get our JSA fix. Uh, I was in All-Star Comics or reading the All-Star Squadron when it started coming out because then you could find a lot of these characters. Um, I picked up these two. Again, got one left of this to finish. Picked up a Jonah Hex. Again, they got a whole bunch of them, a little overpriced to me, so I look for the cheaper ones. And again, I love some, you know, Jonah Hex of the time. 40 centers, always a good ones. Uh, got about, got about around 15 or so of these left to get this entire run of DC Comics Presents. I've really got most of the, quote, big ones out of the way. There's a few that's a little bit more but i love this one because it's got the atomic knights the great atomic war of 1986 86 is when i graduated so i thought that was a trip just on the cover itself but i, I really love these alternate world kind of things when they go into and look picked up this the katie kane uh special this is actually not really as much a special as it is an ongoing series but I do want to show you the back half of that. 
I love that. It's very classic styling uh, for her. And she's sitting there tickling the gorilla that's actually a real gorilla because the other guy's over there. But I thought that was just really neat. I'd seen them a little bit before. They don't really have a bunch of them in this store, but I was like, well, I'm going to grab what they got. Uh, number two of it. Number nine. And the last one is a Canadian uh, price variant. Um, it doesn't even list it in my COZ, so I had to put it in myself. Picked up the Young Romance. Um, this is the uh, reprint of it, which is fantastic to me. Again, it'll go still in my Young Romance section under number 125, unless I find I get it back. Picked up a little bit of run of some Heathcliff. Um, I love the cartoon comics and anything goes with them because most of the time the comic books stay very true to the cartoon and the characters so I like that part uh, he's Catman here so I thought it was a neat sort of inspired you know Batman kind of feel to it so I thought that was neat um, he played getting married and if you look up here Star Trek Heathcliff suffering from the same thing most of us suffer from. A little bit of overeating again. And a little bit of weight gain. The Sheriff of Boo Town. Interesting to be to read that. You got uh, My Squad. So a little, you know, this is Miami Mice. And the last one, I picked up a second copy of number one. I already had this one, but thought why I was buying now, this last one, I, it's kind of funny because I thought they got rid of all their magazines because I, I, I kind of went in and they had moved them around, but I didn't see them at the end where they were. I was kind of hoping to pick up this one at, when I first seen it, but I just kept putting it off. Then I thought they shipped the whole box to one of the other stores. They, they did have a lot of their... Vampirella and stuff like that was gone. Some heavy metal stuff like that were gone that I kind of was interested in. But, however, this one was still there. Uh, from the novel Gladiator. Um, this, and I went through this last night. It's such a good and, you know, neat story, basically. I mean, it's a true... I, I would every bit... I'd have to look at when he created this story. I swear it was before, but he's very Superman. If you look outside of him not being an alien, he is truly the, you know, from his leaps that he's capable of doing, his indestructibility to where he barely gets touched from bullets the way they do, to him able to, you know, tear stuff apart. You know, he just rips through the Nazis. It's just crazy to how they show him go through. Um, I, I think that this, you know, was really, I, I meant to look him up uh, to see if he did predate uh, Superman and them in this story. But I really, I really wanted this one. I think the cover is fantastic. So, I mean, and this is a really nice copy of it. And like I said, you can look. It used to be a dollar when they did. So it was just, you know, it's from Curtis. But, well, that's it. That's part of the haul. I'm hoping to have another one coming out this week. Um, like I said, I'm going to go get a few more back issues in which I kind of got coming to me with my receipt that they gave me. So it's a between that and a few things I'm going to try to get. All right. Y'all have a fantastic night, guys. Um, since Four Color Fossils sitting on tonight, but tomorrow night, hopefully putting up this video, some of y'all have at least something to do. If you're like me and you're celebrating Valentine's Day alone. Night, guys.